starting with a name I don't think I'd ever thought I'd type here. That's Mr. Joe Mixon. The guy has been going off for 16 fantasy points three straight weeks, this time going 15 carries, 86 yards, and a TD. Do you have your RB2, your second round pick, back now? Eh, maybe. I mean, Ryan Finley, it seems like the team is very content just to move forward, win ugly, grind out the clock, and just end things. And that obviously plays into the strengths of Joe Mixon. Uh, he was last week with Gio Bernard getting banged up, was in for 75% of the snaps. The first time he was over even 65% this year. Just for context, last year he was over 65% in 11 of 14 games. Uh, so this has been an anomaly. We've been getting the worst type of snap usage, but then he goes over 61% again. Uh, that's now the, uh, the sixth time he's been over six, he's been under 60% in six of 10 games. But when he's been over those, he's had at least 15 points in all those games. So the guy, when he gets used, has been just as good as ever, no matter what the shit is around him. Uh, the schedule's not great, but not horrible. A couple nice matchups worked in there to the end. Uh, so if these stamp rates continue, if the team wants to just keep bleeding out the clock and winning ugly, or not winning, losing ugly, just making their losses even uglier, sorry. <laughs> Certainly not winning if you're in fucking Cincinnati, pathetic Bengals. Uh, but ultimately, they just want to get in and get out and just continue their tank. At least one one team in the league can finally tank, and Mixon's just going to get that usage here on out. A solid, you know, top 20 running back here on out, in my opinion. I think he can keep it rolling.